I saw the thing move and I chickened out on close it. All right. Now I should be able to look down. So we're going to want to move this bar's body back towards us. So the I don't bar's know. bar's body? Yeah, the pig. I don't know if there's a spot to sit that allows you to reach the bars with enough articulation to be able to clear the wand out from under that sort of. Just tell us what you want, to, want us to do and then we'll yeah, figure out how we're going to do it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to explain. It. So we're going to want to move the bar's body. We want to move the bar's body back towards the sub. And we're going to want this wand to clear itself out from under there. Oh, you don't want all that stuff to grow in. Yeah, we don't want it near the hot. And uh, you're not concerned moving the pig that we're going to yank the wand out? There's some concern. We'll have, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to be careful. There's always concern. <laughs> uh -huh, we'll have to be careful again. Damn yeah. It. One day, Dan, we'll let you just go <coughs> hog, hog wild, wild in a hydrothermal vent. <laughs> But not today. Every time. <laughs> well, the pig's all wrapped up there. All right, if you back away, careful there's a camera in there was. I haven't knocked off the giant porch lately. Come up, uh, come up a bit. Look to your right. You'll be off in uh, Never Never Land. They move another uh, 20, Megan, 20 east. Can do. Or maybe let's try 10 to start. All right. Bridge now. Can we make another 10 meter move east? Um, if you back out a little, Jake, you'll see, get an overall view from kind of this angle. But careful, to, okay, there we are, careful again. Uh, come up a bit and look right. There's a camera and a platform and all that junk yep. under you there. Just a little bit below. Yeah. So you see all that junk, right? Yep. I would probably... Uh, That's the landing zone there. Oh, if you're lucky, we can look up see a flange pool. We haven't <laughs> seen one yet, have we? Uh, we got a glimpse. We s oh, yeah, we sampled one on the other shift. Uh, one of the gas tights. This flange pool here? Uh, it wasn't this one. It was down at Smoke and Mirrors. I haven't seen it. I haven't. Uh, you can look down a little at your porch if you want this to give us a relation. So, yeah, somewhere in there. That's a, that's a great, great spot to work from. And I would be careful of stick locking because... Okay, the, I'll it, just hold it. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, the legs obviously trapped yeah. in the wand. If, yeah, I see that. If we grab one of the back legs or the top handle, I guess, whichever you're more comfortable with, to free it, then we can start kind of moving it to our right. Freeze fail. We gotta fix that button. <laughs> it, I, I looked at it, pressed it fully in, and it didn't light up. And yeah, I never look at it. I kept having an issue I with got the this little up. piggy by the leg. Pick it up here, AJ, because I'm worried about dragging those connectors around. Yeah, much appreciated. Uh, look up a little for me. Let's make sure I'm not yarding the cable too hard there. The monkey's fist does not come with us. That's. What? Oh. <laughs> That 
it's a uh, legacy monkey's fist. How's it hanging on there? Oh, it's in between the leg and the cable. Yeah. <coughs> it should, it'll pull free. The cable's not that stiff. Okay, I can uh, look down a little. Put it down there and regrip. Unless you're happy with that. Uh, I might be able to get it around. Could just take all day. Got any more right action? Yeah, I can swing a little more. If we can get this even further to the right, that's looking really good. You can uh, pivot your head a bit. So uh, a little forward and some laterals. Should do. Oh yeah, no auto heading. I think our um, our marker is wrong. Uh, I think I'm hitting the corner. Because oh, probably. All right. I have the <laughs> camera, and that's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. That's maximum. Uh, and the right angle. Okay. This yep. is it. What if you rack back a little? Yeah, that threw me off when I was uh, giving directions because I was like. This is That's what he's asking. the last position we had, where it's off by, yeah, quite a bit. You think? Welcome to Endeavor. Mm hmm Good times. Doesn't want to sit, does it? <laughs> no. Yeah, no problem. It's only on the side of a cliff, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you can get out of there. So... <coughs> We're up against the... Uh, yeah. No, no. Pool there to our left. Is there, was there a problem with you guys sitting there? Or? Uh, he had just brought his head around. We were up against the flange pole. Too. Okay. Yeah. If left corner was hitting the flange pole. Yeah, if, if we want to just take our time getting back in there. If well, what do you want to do now? If we could get a jaw underneath the cable just to try to get it off the ground as much as possible. Okay, come to your right, so let me have a look. I'll have to stay up above the we camera. Can, we can approach from this side. We don't have to, you can sit on that foul mat. Yeah, um, land it on that. Bush over there before. Wherever you're more comfortable. This is the area I think that we're most concerned about being in the heat. Roger. So you want to get the cable out? Yeah. I'm Roger. not sure if it'll come, but I think we should try. So, let me bring them an in pin a little here. Where is it?
Um, I'm going to put the porch out a little for you. All right. Want to <coughs> bring Bubble back to the porch, too? Yeah. Oh. Uh, <coughs> the right front of your porch? Yep. We'll take it and nudge it in. It could be super hot there, so it's uh, uh, probably a good heading there. And not too much down, because you'll, you know, you're just nudging in with the with the uh, front right of your porch. And just if you want, if you want, you can, or if you don't already, um, dial your Z bias in first. Come back out a bit and dial Z bias in, <coughs> so it's just very slightly positive. And a warning that there is a camera behind you yeah. if you're coming in at this heading. Yeah. Doesn't work anyway, so if you knock it over the <laughs> cliff, it's not the end of the world. It's a nice light, though. <laughs> Seems to be working now, actually. Oh, is it working? Yeah. Oh, I want a selfie of the new. It's a miracle. Knocked it into uh, working. Get a her Herc selfie. <laughs> yeah. It's just under you there, so you got to. So you're basically going to want to come all the way around so you can almost see the vent in your, in your uh, like rub the push cores up against it. Because oh. you'll hit the camera if you don't. There's some black marks on the side of her. <laughs> against it. I'm not sure where the camera is. It's hard yeah. to, for me to have a sense. No. Can't tell. I believe it's that way. But. Well, back out a bit. Come up, back out a bit. above it now. Yeah. Yeah, so you gotta you gotta pick a heading and then slide to your right quite a bit and I'll you'll be able to see the vent in your in your starboard rail cam. Then okay. And if you uh, give me a minute I'll spin Atalanta around so I can see it. Let's see I wanna pick which way do I wanna go? Here. Tether twist or where's your tether wraps? No. Oh. Right here. Yeah, sure. I can. I might be able to reach from there. Do you, Do you think it's worth touching or? Yeah. So close to the one, like I don't. Hang on, hang on, Dan. I'm waiting, waiting for the yes. Why From not? this angle, it, we're seeing that it looks maybe a little clearer. Da, da, da. What about maybe just the float? Yeah, Dan. So if we can lightly touch the float. I don't if you can reach that far. Just try to get a jaw underneath it and yeah, lift it up it. into the left. Are you stable there, Jake? Oh yeah. You just got one toe. And that's all you get. <laughs> Good now. That's why the light touch and the uh, non-stick lock, because you got a balance on that toe or that marble. Just, you know, <clears throat> cooking the starboard drill. 
It's all right. It's what, it's what, it's what we do. You're not, you're not quite stable. So this thing's real touchy. So if the vehicle's moving around and we yank it out, it's going to be yep. hours of, you know, probably wreck the probe. <coughs> I can retract the porch a bit if that helps. Yeah, maybe. It's kind of, yeah, you gotta do a pretty late touch on the landing. So I don't even look. I just keep nudging in the way I want to go, gently, gently, and then when the vehicle stops moving, I know I'm landed. <laughs> I don't even bother looking where it lands. I don't care, as long as it doesn't move. Well, sometimes you should care. Well, I can't, you can't. If you're looking at where you're going to land, then you're not going to you know, get the job done. <laughs> but what if there's a beautiful animal in the way? <laughs> Collateral damage. <laughs> so harsh. <laughs> Uh, if you come in gently, gently, and barely touch a toe, you won't, like, smear it. If you come in and, you know, are rough with it, you'll have a big, like, half a meter smear when you get out of there. So the minimal damage is... That feels pretty good. That feel good? Yep. Yeah, we don't... Okay, we'll just keep an eye on the wand, and if we see it shifting out, then we'll stop. Okay. Uh, here, I'll do your camera since you probably got your hands full. I am frozen. You can see the wand okay, AJ? Yep. I've got it in this um, stills camera as well. Oh, well, that thing's like two years behind the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> stutter, stutter. In your luck. All right, I think let's see if that holds. Not sure. Yeah, I think that's anything. better. Yeah, I mean the freeze fail. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. This area, I don't think we're gonna have much luck in because the wand is holding it there. Yeah. I think we definitely got some more distance on that area. I think so. So let's call that a win. Right to that. So our next attention, or our next task is going to be to excavate over here. Okay, Jake. Dream. You can uh, come out of there again. Pick uh, a new we'll heading, I guess. We'll have to obviously reposition, I think. I think, I think. You want to get the old one out. Yeah. Roger. Uh, without disturbing the new one, of course. Yeah. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Um, before settling in, I don't know what our access to our port bio box will be. So now might be the best time to get our weapons out. Our <laughs> excavation tool out. There is a. Uh, there's a big one right here on the porch, a big pry bar. Yeah, okay, that's the one we're looking for. All right, okay, I'll, I'm going to, we probably want the porch out for this. It definitely, like, keeps the vehicle further away from the... Nope. You, if you want, back out and uh, come down and look at that camera, and you can figure out what the depth of it is, so you know when you're above it. Yeah. Good. Do you mind if I reach in your view nope. here while you're doing that? Go for it. Cleverly, <laughs> I went to cleverly tie wrap that. 
in front of our weapon here. I'm going to have to pop it loose. Maybe I can sneak it out there. No, it's too long there. Is that the, the tri bar? Or is that the. Oh, tri I see. You got the it. Tri bar, there. Yeah. yeah. 2187. Dun, 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 dun. Two one eight seven. Two one eight seven. Tell your navigator to keep an eye on that. If you get below two one eight seven, to smack you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll try and watch too. Okay. Uh, I would ram the <coughs> green cable there. Ram the green cable. Yeah. <coughs> Just to the right of the very sensitive bars with enough room to not have to worry about it. I'm going to pull this up and out of the way. stick I could probably reach it from here <coughs> yes yeah. I think the trick is going to be trying to use the bend in the in the tri rod to leverage the bottom yeah you're gonna have to uh, uh, you're gonna have to come up put the ports right where the red tube worms are Roger. you can click in auto heading there too if you want <coughs> as long as you stay to the right of the Shimmering water. Uh, no, the wa the red and white wand. Yep. Let's pull that out of the bush for you. You're hitting that first. So I'm going to have to put this in your face a little bit. Okay. even more. <laughs> you good? Good. Roger. I can't pry up against the tube worm bush too well. Oh. Yeah, it's going to kind of get western with it here a little. <laughs> side of it. It's not the tool I would have picked. Uh, can you get a little closer? Come up a little. Like, put your porch under that little lip there. Right there. Come up a little more. Yeah, push in there.
you rack back for me? Wanna do it? Uh, I can rack back. Try and push you off, so you're gonna have to put yep. like full jam on it. Ready? Full jam. Okay, I'll back off a bit, and you can push in again. Or you're full ahead. I'm full ahead. Roger. That's good technique, though. I'm I'm liking this. Oh, sorry. I'll pull you back in around here. You don't have a lot of down on, right? Just forward. No, just forward. Yeah. So I'm gonna move you to the left. And up. Banana bar now. Well, I've bent the bar. <laughs> yeah, that ready rod bends pretty easy. Just careful that wand. Yeah. Um. I, I'm appreciating the effort. If we can just keep keep giving it a try, I don't know if there's another uh, position that you prefer. time but I'm definitely not being careful now while well, I am I don't want to toast the manipulator so you see as I push him here I'm just pushing the vehicle away yep so I need to Probably need to be on the other side of it. There we go. Can you uh, pivot around to your left some? Or slide to your left a little, dangerously close to the... Nah. Let's back out there, Jake. That's a little too close. I'm probably cooking the freaking jewelry in the front of the... Yeah. You're going to have to get, like, really close to the... Bars cable that's in there, so I need to get behind it and pull up. Okay. Then it won't be prying the vehicle away, right? Okay. If I don't know if it would help to come in a little lower, you can come right up to that wand. If we bump it in the lower regions, it shouldn't really move it much. <laughs> like it's uh, yeah. bumping it up at the at the wand is where it's problematic. Yeah. So if we can sort of set up there, that might. That might be sort of the best compromise between safety and positioning. Roger. How about just just to the right of it, like where the 45 of the corner is of the of the porch, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'll have to be a little higher though. Yeah. 
I think to put the Porsche almost right on the instrument there. Could be a leg. Oh, come on. See if I can get it under it. Okay. <laughs> it's like rock. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, not it enough. Is rock. That was a bit of rock and definitely a bit of roll. <clears throat> right into it with a bumper bar. Gas tights. Take a sparkin in there. Yeah, well, we can. I think we're better off doing this one. I'm going to get a little destructive here. Go ahead. That looks like the um, handle. Yeah, it is. Let's see if I can get this wrapped around the handle there. Can you uh, tilt up a bit? Oh, wait, I'll do it. I'll do yep. it. Your hands are full. Oh, down goes the weapon. I'm tired of that weapon. Uh, it might be worthwhile giving that handle a pull now that it's I reckon. free. still locked in there. <laughs> Solid as rock. Afraid I'll break the handle off. Yeah, yeah. But if the handle comes off, do the legs come off too? You see... You see this yeah, here? I see it moving, so... Like, that <coughs> is coming loose. If that yeah. comes loose, and then we pull the connector. That looks like something wrapped around the... Wrapped around the instrument. Uh, yeah, it's it's sort of how the legs and the handle are so strapped I don't, on. Do I... I don't want to rip that off? Well, or? it's maybe... A, it could be a pro or a con. We lose the handle and the flange to hold on to, but it's also what's anchoring the bars to the legs, which are probably what are the most enc encased. Right. And so if it does come separate, there is maybe an opportunity for us to try to pull it free from the connector. And if the legs are detached from it, it might just come free. Oh, I see. And just so, slide out of there. Yeah. So I, I'm... Yeah, with the only consideration that the stub of the cable might still be locking it in at the other end but yeah yeah this might be the way to go maybe yeah. I mean it feels like we're seeing some progress oh Move it. Huh. 
How long has this been down here? Uh, one year. One year. Is that right, Chip? It's I'll really, look it up. It's really become one with nature in that one. Yeah, year. these vents move around, and if they move, if they move to surround the the bars, you can see just how much mineral gets developed. You, uh, so before we left some yep if we caved the whole mountain down yeah <laughs> oh the soft stuff at least yeah it's just soft. so now might be an okay opportunity to just try the connector yep one year 202206 yep. yep. <laughs> well I'm just like yanking 5,000 pounds of ROV around yeah, it's pretty in there. What do you think? You think just a little, a little tug on the connector? Yeah. See if it, you like. See, see if it. the housing itself can come free. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you lateral left, Jake? Pulling on the tail, as Steve says. Yeah. yeah. It looks like we've freed that lateral strapping. Left, right? yeah left 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 so now it's a question of how encased is the actual housing itself or was it just okay, the legs yeah i mean the more of it we can get back the better obviously but uh cans cans the priciest bit well Hello. okay are you stable there yep are you ahead yep I'm just gonna grab the leg here. For what do you think? Up or down a little bit first on the connector, or straight out? Let me uh, uh, give a little wiggle on the leg here. Sure. Just to make sure Jake's firmly entrenched in the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's nice when you're pulling against the. Yeah. The so that's like, yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised the graph's yeah. not venting oil yet. Wow, that's in there. Okay. All right. Old rock little tug on that connector. Roger. Which direction do you think it AJ? I think you give it a little side to side up down shake and then pull toward and then towards the ROV. Do you want to wait till it clears so we can see? Oh, I'm pulling on it. <laughs> I got okay. it. So I don't have a lot of pull that way. Yeah. And yeah. I will break the manipulator because that's like side loading your crane. Yeah, gotcha. But, but. I can go uh, like this. Freeze fail. Freeze fail. <coughs> so I can pull it back towards the vehicle at this and angle. Yeah, I mean that black molding's not going to take too much force, but as close as you can get to the housing, you better chance of it. Right. Staying intact. Yeah. Going right up against the housing there. Yeah. Is it I mean, it's. This is uh, not something we let you do often, Dan, so. <laughs> en enjoy it. Oh, I'm <laughs> seriously enjoying <laughs> it, <dude. laughs> The smile, ear to ear. This is your uh, your thanks for putting up with the last. I hope deployment. you'll help me fix the ROV when we bring up a smoking pile of rubble. <laughs> 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 It'll be the other shift by then. <coughs> Probably get fired too. <laughs> yeah, that went, burnt a few things on this particular vent, so. Yeah, so that's that's full jam there. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Can you do a little more up down? Oh yeah. It'll be really, really evident when I'm slamming the ROV into the. Yeah. I'll try one. Other I'm thing seeing here. it move. Oh. Could be the ROV that's moving. It is the ROV that's moving. It hasn't moved. It's yeah, it's fused in there. So I'm using the shoulder actuator there. That's like yeah. the, the strongest joint that the manipulator has. <coughs> You're pushing the ROV into the wall. Uh, I think Jake dressed it. 
Okay. But yeah, I'm pulling it into the wall. <coughs> You, if you, you go, it. if you try to go full <laughs> up, <laughs> you might as well just give up. Yeah. Last, last <sighs> chance, I think, would be just to try to pry it full up. Yeah, I did that already, but I'll yeah. do it again. Use the momentum of the ROV into the wall. Yeah. That thing is just fully, it's still okay. like 50% buried in that rock. Uh, I don't want to hit that. Okay, here comes 5,000 pounds of ROV. Ooh, did it move? No, it ain't moving, guys. I don't think it. It's my imagination. So, we're, and we're pressing the ROV porch onto the ground, yeah? Oh, yeah, so right there, it, it's in the air. You know, the ROV is floating. Yeah. And when I pull it here, it just slams the ROV into the ground, and that's the full force of the manipulator. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that too many times. Or no, yeah. no. Yeah. The deck. Yeah, we gave it a good shot. Yeah, I think that's all we've got for that. All right, I'm off it. <laughs> <laughs> when do you get to do you that sure, to a scientific sure instrument, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, whenever they're broken or stuck. Yeah, not that often, though. I got that western with a pig. But we brutalize these pigs like you wouldn't believe. You drug them <laughs> down the hill. <laughs> Dropped them. Yeah. Uh, gauge check. <laughs> Bleeding to death now. Okay, so I think, I think that's all we can do there. Roger. Uh, cannot recover. So maybe this is a question for Steve. Um, we're going to move on to the gas tight sampling. Now, highest priority for gas tight sampling is RAS PPS. Um, I think he had a position in mind for that. Um, Where is the RAS? Well, it hasn't been deployed yet. Oh, here's a good question. If we're not recovering the camera, what are we plugging the RAS PPS into? Um, do, 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 do we have another cable down here for the RAS PPS? Maybe we can think about this while we go and sample. Now is your opportunity to look at a flange pool while they're making up their mind. Uh, I'm or not look sure. at something. Roger that. Yeah, playtime. Or just look at the vent there. Maybe we'll go in, um, we'll go sample North Tower, and we'll think about this RAS PPS with Steve. Um, was it not supposed to go onto J6? Uh, yeah, it was, but we're leaving the, oh, J6. Yeah. So the camera's on J8. Yeah. Can you pan the nav screen down just a but little bit? But there's no me, cable maybe? on J6. Hmm. Uh, where's North Tower from here? Yeah, let's go to North Tower. Where is it from here? I think you go towards the Maris interface unit and then turn around, I believe, to see North Tower. So it's like south. Back through Rogers Pass. No. No? It's south from here? No, no, no. It's west. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, I don't see anything south. <laughs> no, yeah. So, sorry. You go, oh, to, okay. the, you go to the Maris interface unit. Yeah, yeah. It's right. Yeah. We passed it on the way, putting the uh, Maris interface unit in, right? Where it's is on the that? other side of the canyon. I, I can't remember. It's been too long. Uh, Steve saying if we turn starboard, we'll see it 290 degrees, Thanks, 20 meters away. Although I thought that was Dante that was on that side. Either way, we can sample it. 
Yeah, I think it's this guy here. It's the yeah, but remember that map is not correct. I know, and while it's where like 15 meters south of <clears throat> the waypoints there. So, yeah, I looked to your right. <coughs> We're under I thought it was on the I thought it was on the north side of this thing, from the north tower. Mm -hmm. But as you're going through Rogers Pass, it's on your right, isn't it? Or is that Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Where's the other map, Steve, that has the actual sites on them? This one does not. It's frustrating. 290. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off your uh, downlight. Steve will know it when we get there. <coughs> if he's watching. Oh, your downlight. So we're is looking up. 290 right now. Yep. <coughs> so what's at the top of this? Uh, good question. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that should be the North Tower. Yeah, this also makes sense to be if you went to the Maris interface and turned around. Yeah, so yeah. this is North Tower. Yeah, yeah, Confirmed. yeah. So I okay. passed it coming in on my right. Yeah, we're looking at the same thing. Okay. Where are we sampling? At the top? Uh, wherever we can find a good vent. Okay. So let's go upwards and keep our eye out. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have a turn in our tether, which is really weird because tether counter says we don't. That looks like a good vent. It does. Yeah. You guys, do you think you can get close to that one? Yeah. Or there's one up and to the left? Uh, it'd be nice to find one on this heading. There's one right in front of us. Wow. That's a good landing spot, too. Are you talking about, like, there? Yeah. Okay. Nudge our porch in there. And the one in down low there, they're happy with that. Yeah, according to the uh, marine config diagram. Oh. A little nudge. Man, yeah, remember your brow sticks out. Yeah. So I can put the porch back out. Is it not still out? Did I suck mm. it in? A porch, sacrificial porch. Extension. J7 is also available. <laughs> That's a 48 volt port. We don't have a cable. Apparently, there's a cable down there. Nine eight two seven meter seventy meter cable. Oh yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Um, Let's see. Um, Hopefully, it's not have, severed. So we're going to need both yeah. arms for this. So you're going to have to be yeah have that thing like right this way. So you're going to have to put the porch like right close to the oh uh, vent itself. I'd go do, with uh, a qualification ticket. Then. Megan, can we get 20 meters 315? If we were testing it on that voltage, obviously worked. Fighting your tether a little there. Mm. 
We're going to need the reamer out for this, which is probably in the starboard bio box. Mm, I think there's one in the front, too. Okay. I'll have to ask Jake once he gets parked. It is. Oh, starboard great. Box. Perfect. Oh, it's in the starboard box. Okay. I think. Uh, looks like you'll have access to that in this position. Yeah. Happy here. You're happy? Happy. Roger. <coughs> okay. Uh, can you rack back? Or yeah. I can rack back? I can rack back. If you got your hands full, let me know I can push buttons over here. Does it matter which gas type we use here at AJ? No, it does not. Okay. As long as we make a note. I don't understand um, the marine config here. It shows the RAS PPS on J6, but what cable is getting it from the from the junction bar or from the IP to its position? It doesn't come with its own 70 meter cable. So how could that be? Right, according to the marine config, it's yeah. got an 8181 and then the six and a half meter cable. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's probably a mistake then. But if we replace the camera, it's going into a 400 volt port. Again, there looks looks to be a an available cable on J7. Maybe we can move that if need be. Yeah, nine eight two. Nine eight two seventy meter cable. Yeah, that's looks to be on the bullhorns on the north side of the IP. So we could lay that. Spaz. Box in. Sure. Box in, rack out. Um, I'll just let me see here. I think we're all right. I don't like the grip. No, no. Oh, I see. We were supposed to move the J8 camera cable to J6, and that would change the voltage on the cable that's currently running to the camera. So, yeah. Now, if we want to keep the camera, we'll have to lay a new cable, and right. we can still we can still move that cable over to J6 to use that port. So we won't end up changing the port. We just have to use that cable. We also have the spare 70 meter PBOF on deck Okay. that we could send down. 
Yeah. Yeah, we came with an extra. Okay, it's uh, earmarked, is it? Yeah. This looks like a good vent. Uh, data, did you take coordinates of this uh, vent? Video, can you zoom in? Not yet. Uh, I was going to get it with the samples as we take it. Okay. Zoom in a little more. Let's go. Oh, you got some pretty stuff in the middle of the camera while I play destructo on the outside here. Why do you want to ream it? It's like a good gas tight sample there. Yeah, I mean, if if you're confident you can get it in but usually we just make sure it's clear all the way because sometimes it's kind of obstructed even though it looks clear oh. <coughs> Breeze fail. okay it's no fun if you don't break the freaking vent oh Talk pyrite. Yeah, I mean that looks clear enough. Yeah. Yeah. Down to there, right? Yeah. That should That's be funny for a gas tank. Yep. Okay, go wide. <clears throat> Do we need to take a temp too? Typically. Oh yeah. Uh, we do need to take a temp. Correct. Thank you, Sean. Yep. Rack back. Rack back. That button's really getting annoying. It's getting worse. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we might want to flat coil that 3189 we have on deck and prep it to go down. Dan, we need temperature first. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're going for it. Sorry. It's all right. Just trying to decide how I wanted to grab it to be able to get in there. No, that's my bad. Myself. I thought it was on the other side, but that's the suction sampler. Sensors. Sensors. Temperature. Okay, you can rack out. Rack it out. Well, and you can uh, zoom in there, Tim. We want to see, uh, you can zoom real tight on the vent there. Um, bu 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 do we have a temp probe somewhere? Tilt down a little. I had the Grafana up yeah, before. Yeah, it'll be Grafana. If you go to yeah. the Hurt GUI, you can... Was it Ship House? If you pull up Hurt GUI there, you have a button for it. Yeah. We're, we're on the census page. 71 degrees, 90 Perfect. 112, 143, 161. Yeah, I haven't got stable yet. 200. So the technique usually is to start where you can see it out here, out of the plume, and then non-spastically move in, uh, pause, okay, you can call it. 260, 270. 
281. 292. 300, maybe. Making its way to 300. <laughs> hot enough. Yeah. That's a hot vent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hot enough, so our final is 300 right there. On the nose. I'm happy with that. Still climbing. Um, yeah, it looks like it's sort of holding at 302. 302. Yeah. Okay. And that's up out of the, uh, you know, I'm even with the top where I broke it away there. So it's holding at 302. I can try and go down in a little bit. Yeah. Still 302. 300 degrees. Yeah, that's where it is. I do that. Okay, I know it's beautiful, but you'll have to go wide for me. So we're gonna put this thing away and get our next victim. Rack and back, rack and back. If I can get it back on the little keeper here. Oh, it's really cool about this little plate. It's flexible. <laughs> All right, tool tray out. Uh, actually, tool tray in first. Tool tray in. You can uh, bring it in and lock it. Now you can tool tray out. Tool tray out. Oh, that's far enough. Um. Sideways a little so I can see the T handle. Or not. So this is gas tight. 24. Mm. That can't be right. I thought the blue one was 24. Yeah, this has been plaguing us can for a while here. Uh, um, out and look sideways at that thing so I can 25 see blue, green, white? No. No, this is green and black. <sighs> it should be 24, although it says 24 was sampled at smoke and mirrors. It was. Right. No, it was. Pretty sure. We'll have so to then confirm. it's not. So the one that was at smoke and mirrors is not green and black on the barrel. So what is this one, 23? Do we have 23 here? No, this one's 24. Hmm, so what was the I one that was triggered at Smoke and Mirrors? I mentioned I don't like to. I don't know, it's in the tool basket. We'll have to take a look, but it, I don't think it was 24. Okay. Oh, come on, I was on it. It probably had green and black on the handle. Yeah, I think, right. it. yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. Oh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Yeah, this is 24. This is the one we sent down. I think I got right. it. Right back here. All right, then. 
Yeah, yeah you can uh, rack back and poke it with I the... I mean, in theory, they should en have engravings. They do, yeah. It's just not, we're not going to be able to see that underwater. Yeah. Oh, we can see it, all right. Where is the engraving? Uh, it'll be... Uh, it should be just above the snorkel on one of the sides. Yeah, it's 24. I can see it right there. Oh, yeah. Perfect. 24. Okay. Confirmed. Thank you, Dan. No problem. Okay, you can uh, rack out. Racked out. Oh, hitting the camera. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Ready for zoom? No. <clears throat> Nav, could you pull up a uh, coordinate for me, please? It's up already. Oh, okay, just one sec. Uh, uh -oh. yeah. Do you mind grabbing the depth as well? The depth is 2182. 2182, okay. Tilt up. Alright, thanks, Nev. No problem. too far away so we're gonna have to get uh, the magnum up there and um, that's smoke and mirrors <coughs> to hit the trigger on it uh. so you're gonna have to be back like right at the front of the porch right up hop back up yeah That's why I was trying to come across there. Yeah. It's painful. This is where we usually have what we call, uh, or where we have had when we're doing a lot of these. Uh, we have an actuator on the on the craft. You rotate it around and then punch the, that's what Tom Thumb uh, was. Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb. Good old Tom Thumb, never seen it in is action. It, is it named after Tom? I know we just somebody nicknamed it Tom Thumb. It's but and it's stuck. It's all right if you're doing a science dive, but like we could never have it on there and do the kind of manipulation we were doing earlier. Yeah. We would just have completely wrecked it. Yeah, it's a yeah. luxury we can't afford. Pretty much. I think you're gonna have to hop right up, like you know, cooking the rubber on the front of the porch on. Right on the vent there.
so I removed you close also so the slightest tether bounce will, you know, while we're in the vent will kill us. Breeze fail. You would think I would be used to it by now and stop doing that. see the plunger as well I'm not include the view when we do the final adjustments into the vent Shoulder up. Well, the idea is to get a jaw right next to it and slide it right and then get the tip in the vent and then bap it with the wrist left. on how you bap it, it will move the tip out of the vent. And you're going to have a sample of nothing. And I think I'm touching it there. I think you are. I know yeah. what I need, <coughs> but I don't get it, so... Really helpful to have a two camera angle, but the other one's not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Pillow of smoke. Right in the face. Uh, can you zoom in there for me? Good, thanks. It's so hard to see if the uh, nozzle is buried. Yeah, I'll we'll zoom in on the nozzle, but um, I don't know. We'll zoom in on the nozzle before we take the sample. Just trying to get all the ducks lined up here. And yeah, yeah. Touching it there. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, c center up on the, I think we're close enough there. You center up on the wand and we'll zoom, get a tight zoom there. Uh, you want to uh, center I can it do up? It. Yeah, 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 sorry. 
Here, go ahead, Pete. You can zoom in a little tighter if you want. Yeah, perfect. So we'll do the same thing we did with the temp probe. So I'll start on this side so we can see and slowly move in, but. Yeah, what's in there? I reckon. I reckon. Yeah, I like that. <coughs> okay, let's zoom out. Good. Zoom back in for us. I really wanted to have it at an angle. That's good. Or I can see the plunger, but I guess we don't get that. I guess bubbles, not much help. Nope. No. Black cloud of smoke. Am I going to clear it there? Uh, yep. Oh, no. No. This manipulator is not known for its fine control. Yeah. <laughs> its grace or elegance. It's not uh, exterior. I'm a big fan of that left manip. I am, too. That magnum. It's reliable. It Sturdy. Old reliable. Uh, I'm going to try this. Oh, you're going to go for the prong. Oh, well, something I can see a little better. Maybe. The vent fluid is not helping, but it's part of the challenge. The old backhand. I think I'm touching it there. Yep. You're touching it. So I'm going to come back to the right I just a little. The bolt. Yeah, let it droop just a little. But am I touching just the back of the plunger, or am I touching the bottom of the instrument with the jaw? The plunger should stand proud. Yeah. Should be plunged. Yeah, you think you've given it enough throw? I think so. Is there any harm to going further? No, just push it out of the vent, though. But it should shoot it, like, right now, right? Yeah. If you're confident, we can let go and take a look at the O-ring. Roger. gas tights are such a compromise. You either get a solid footing with the sub and then lose all your cameras, or you get your cameras, but you gotta fly. It's triggered. Yeah. 
It sure is excellent. Shooting two here, or just the one. Just the one. All right. Thank you for the assist, Magnum. We're done with you. So, next up, we can go and sample Dante with the other one. Where's Dante, Megan? Any idea? I Don't. do not know where Dan Dante is. Dante should be east of Grotto. Okay. It seems to be the one that people tend to back up into when they're working <laughs> on that camera platform. Yeah, that All was, right. Now it's coming back to me. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it once or twice? Once or twice. I'm going to say you should have bled with that. <laughs> I think Steve's falling asleep at his laptop. Sorry, Steve. You know, it's slow. <laughs> no, he's probably just been up for three days <laughs> in anticipation. Okay, you want to... Uh... All right, I can do it if you still got your hand. Oh, he's alive. Mm -hmm. I got it. Should put... No, we're going to need stuff out. Tom Thumb before. rules. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> design of these gas tights is probably older than we are, isn't it, Steve? Uh, yeah, I remember having to dig up some of the original drawings from Marv, and they were pretty old. You don't have the beast out here to, to process them, though, do you? you just I don't know how they're processed. Well, I've never, we send them off to UW. Yeah, so there's a contraption that is like really scary and it takes up the whole wall. It's got <laughs> fire and compressed gas and they wind up in the end with the sample and a little glass ampule. Wow. So they cook the water out of it and then, uh, yeah, a fuse a little glass ampule. It's a little tiny, teeny, teeny thing. It know. sounds intense. Oh. It's yeah. not a very elegant stowage, but... It does sound intense. High pressure. High pressure fluid. Um, oh. Sorry, that was me. I just knocked you off. I was going to say we could get a tight zoom of that vent just for the still of where we took the sample. But I think we've got it on cam. Do you got it? Yeah, we're out of there. Okay, I got the boxes if you want to head uh, back Roger. the way you came. <coughs> I don't know about still, but... Could have a look on the way out, too. The beautiness. So, I think we have to turn yeah, almost all the way around. Yeah. If you go back... Uh, back towards Atalanta. Yeah, the south of Atalanta. Just go basically east. Yeah. Steve says straight east. Fifty. He says 50 meters. That seems pretty far. That's about right. Yeah? yeah. Are yeah. we going to need a, a ship move? Um, we should probably be okay. Because Atalanta is east of us. Oh, okay. What did we move on the last one, Megan? Uh, we did 20 meters, uh, 315. Sure, we came around the other way. i got to tether up right now. Yeah, you can come around the other way, or I'll come up. Uh, you can do the reciprocal of that if you want. Okay. I should look, because that thing oh, is... There it is. That thing is trying to uh, hawk all on us. I did zero pretty early. Yeah. Pretty early on. Do we have eyes on the lights? Not yet, I guess. If you no, he'll, we'll find him when we get over there. Yeah. If you just follow your snail trail back to where you Bridge came from. Bridge now. A little south of that, maybe. And we'll come around the south side of South side of Grotto. Grotto. And then hang a right. Or come right over it. Yeah.
Looks like there's a vent off to your right there. Oh yeah. Just careful, that's all. Okay. Oh, I don't see the lights. So I don't see the lights, but I see the camera. Yep. Hope that camera's still working. That plan changes faster than uh, I can keep up with. Yeah. Interesting. All right, so we're back here. So I think it's still it's due east of here. Okay. Eh. Uh, Camera might be on a schedule, so they might have just automatically turned off. Yeah, yeah, could be. I could try no, to turn them to back the right on. Do you here. think that's useful? To the right. Yeah. Is that right, Steve? To the right. Look at the camera again. Now it's northeast, Steve's saying. Yeah, you got to go to the right. Well, it's pretty no. much, yeah, it's right behind you. Oh, that's go not either way. Northeast. That's southwest. You're saying this way? Yeah, turn around. You'll see it there, Sonic. It's not that far. Turn more. Put the wrap back in that I just took out. <coughs> uh, you can turn the other way if you want. I turn the camera, but lights back on. So it should be like right over here. Because this is the feature we're going to, yeah. but yeah. it's, it's like 20 meters yeah. down. Right. East southeast from you. Okay, I'll tether sort it out. Tether sort it out. Well, it's grotto behind you. I should see a sonar target. There it is. 20 meters out. Yeah, that jives. <laughs> Which cable is that? The one going up to Grotto, isn't it? Or the main cable? The blue one? That's the Temple Mini cable. We're coming back across. Okay. Yeah. turns now I can help you out here. It doesn't matter, right? I think are we north of it? No, we should be right at the base. Alright. Should be being the keyword. Yeah we might be a little north of it. I don't know. Come up Steve thinks we're south of it, but I, well, that's what it's going to look like on the map, but the map is shifted. Is Are we broadcasting the map? Um, I don't think he has the map. Oh, okay. Let's come up and see what it looks like. Coming up. Definitely a vent. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, they'll be overhanging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sonar. Yeah, so we are uh,
northeast of uh, the camera. Yeah. East by northeast of the camera. Wow. It's quite the overhang. Uh huh. These are the ones Renny worries about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For good reason. More miles away from it. I think you're a little too relaxed, Dan. <laughs> I'm not. I'm paying attention and watching 20 screens at once instead of talking <laughs> about it. Worrying can be good. But Randy saved me tonight. I had my tether all up in the rocks and wouldn't even watch it. See? <laughs> Just keeps on going. Uh, that looks like some plume water to me, doesn't it? Yeah, there's shimmering on the right. It's pretty crazy looking. Yeah. Turn your down lights off. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, look, there's a flange pole. Look up just a little bit. Not too much. New smoke and mirrors. You're trying to hit the flange pool with your camera. No. Well, we're not going to actually hit it. But <laughs> that's what you're doing, trying to get closer to it. Mm, can't quite. You might have to look up just a little more and zoom in just a touch. Yeah, ROVs don't quite look up. Oh, now you see the shimmer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. see it. Keep, Some little keep mirror floating back up. there. But no light, that's the bummer. So if we would have had our pen and tilt light, that would be... Might get some reflection off of it. It's hard to get close to them without. Some, you gotta basically yeah. almost touch your brow to it, and you can get a view of it. shimmer in there. We're just like even with it. That's neat. You can see all the, uh, it's also really cool where all wow. the, there you go. There yeah. You see An inverse it's pool. Very fine balance of looking up with the lights coming down. Looks like mercury. Yeah, yeah. it does. Nice job, Jake. Cool stuff. All right, backing out. They're um, they're hot coming around the edge, but you gotta to really get a good stable shot. You gotta park your bumper on there, and then uh, zoom in past the jewelry on the bumper bar. And <coughs> we really we have the sonar in the wrong place. And <laughs> cook the imagenics. <laughs> you can look back down if you want come up, look down at it. If we could keep coming up for a vent. Roger. I can't see you at all now. I'm gonna come up. There's a vent. Yeah, that's a vent. That's a vent, all right. There you are. That's the one we want. Let me know that's if we're targeting it. Yeah, that's what Steve's saying. So, same. Oh, there's a tug. 20, yeah. Can we move? <coughs> uh, yeah. 
Let's move 10 meters, uh, 10 meters east. Okie dokie. We need a little more slacky. Bridge nav. Can we move 10 meters east? Okay, I'll put the port Arima out. Roger. Oh, it's still out. This one's pretty smoky. It would be nice um, if you could come around, maybe, maybe to the left. Yeah. Still waiting on the tether. I c I'll come down a little. <coughs> it, it's hard to fight with this vehicle. It's hard to fight the tether be in there, but it would be nice to be able to see what we're doing. So if you come in on this heading, we'll have all that smoke right in our face. And I think, uh, yeah, if you come around a little more, you can land on top of the flange pole gently, because they're real fragile and they'll just break away out from under you. Sometimes they can be fragile, sometimes they can... Yeah, that's probably a good heading. Uh, I'm still kind of getting tugged. <clears throat> I want to wait to sit yeah. down. Yeah, we basically have to have Atalanta above us. Yeah. I could go peek under at that one while we're waiting. up so I can see the sonar because um, <coughs> here I'll look up oh, I'm gonna tilt up a bit for me. sonar ruins the shot but I went up Tether, you won't yeah. be able to. Still, Atalanta's still coming at you. <coughs> it's really cool. Um, on Ropos, we have the mini Zeus up on the top, and it actually goes uh, horizontal. Wow. So you can, like, stick it right in the. Like, it's like this far from That's the flange floor. You can see all the little. Glittering, and you can when the water's yeah, this, running around like the, the edge of it. Still, cam had a tilt or something on the. Yeah, but that'd be pretty sweet. That's the uh, plan to have a a camera up there with a tilt on it. One of the sixteen cameras. Maybe by next year. Never seen any really spectacular footage of them. They're always that, you know, set up to look down. Oh. 
Okay, you'll have to look all the way down at the porch and nuzzle the porch right close to it again. Atlantis 20 meters away, so it should give you enough slack, hopefully. give you some scale, that's a 25 tall meter feature here. <laughs> mm. On the map, I think it was last recorded at 24.4. Yeah, we're, we're banging 25 meters altitude right now. Yeah. At least we know we're in the right spot. Yeah. Why well, they call it the tower? <coughs> Who gets to name these? I feel like we should get our shot at naming one of them. If you find a new one, you can. Well, what are we doing? Let's go hunt. <laughs> no doubt. It's far more important than this gas tight. We did find a new one one year. I forget we had to, we'd name some silly name. We uh, had Embari's AUV, so we'd run the AUV um, in the in the all night, and then we would uh, go explore in the day with the AUV's map. Oh, that's cool! It was awesome. We had the super high profile or high accuracy resolution. Yeah, and then we had the ROV position overlaid that on that on an old program called Windfrog. I think a little closer. Oh, I um, the magnum won't reach out there. Right there. Uh, can try that. At least we can see him bubble for the moment. So we got ream temperature gas tight. Yeah. Same Rinse, game. Repeat. Same game, different vent. That's right. I'm gonna turn on your uh, downlights now for. Actually, let's uh, zoom in on it. We'll get a tight shot of it for while well, I get the manip out before we wreck it. just so happy. They are. They're not happy with their neighbors, so they're angry with them. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, my. That full zoom, is it there? Pete? Nice shot. The manipulator is going to come through the pitcher and wreck it. Yeah. I really miss my wide angle camera. I could do all this uh, underneath the Zeus while you had using the wide angle while the Zeus is zoomed in. Come on. So it looks like there's probably enough room in that vent to just go straight for the temp probe. You reckon? Yeah, if it doesn't go in, we can always go back to the reamer. Sure. Okay, rack back. I can uh, kind of use the temp probe as a... A gentle reamer? A gentle reamer. I'll we'll have to turn on the disruptors.
back out again. Racking out. Uh, whenever you're, it's whenever you guys are all right. If you could change the sensor page on Herc. Wonderful. So repeat, can zoom right in again. Ambient temperature two point one one. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's right. Or 5.19, sorry, I was looking at the oxygen sensor. Five degrees ambient. Are you pulls in there? Oh. oh. Can you go wide? Well, there goes our perch. Did your perch? No, it's still there. <laughs> oh. It slipped off. Well, maybe part of it's still there. We'll have to perch close. More forward than down is good. Yep. Happy. Happy. You got your hands full. I can hold on, Pete. Let me get the get in the neighborhood here. Okay. Sixteen. Open the iris a bit for us. That's correct. Two forty one. Oh, it works wide open. Going back up. Yeah, I'm just breaking away some of the uh, taller stuff here. It's really the top bits are usually pretty pretty tribal. fresh. Yeah. Alright, back it out where you can see. No, I mean me. Sorry, not you. You're good. Back in? Yeah, please. Try to hit that little teeny hole. This one might need a reamer. Two hundred. Yeah, I'm not in it. Drop back down. Can you come in at a steeper angle so we could see also the depth of it? Yeah, to go wide again. Sorry. Okay, you can go tight again. Freeze fail. Freeze fail. Freeze fail again. Would it help if I put some light on there? Maybe. Let's try it. Yeah, that's uh, better. I think I can see. Oh yeah. yeah that, I can go that right. Makes it easier. Right tight. If you're not already. That's yeah, a little teeny vent. It's a small hole. Teeny tiny. Like plugging it with the temp probe. Yeah, we might need a remit. 220. It's 235. Pretty, pretty small. 241. Yep. Yeah, it topped out at 241. Yeah, I wasn't in it very long. Let's see if I can <coughs> get a better angle. I didn't here. realize it was like facing us.
front side to the back, uh, so then I don't know where the heck I am. Can't get there from here. It's on a hill, that's why. Pretty strong. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm not hitting the hole. I don't know if I'm touching something else with a manip or what. As soon as I go there. You go away, go away for a second. Okay, zoom in again. Go down a little bit. I think it's, uh, Megan, oh. can you hit the auto heading? It's the it, right, th uh, right there. Yep. Too. Thank you. Nope, oh, that didn't work. You're gone. What'd you do that for? Oh, no. So there. It looks like such a big hole from here, and then you get close yes. and you realize it's not. No, it's yeah. smaller than the probe, so. Yeah, so let's let's go for the reamer. Roger. Okay, wreck back. We could try and find another vent, too. Uh, I think we want this one because we've sampled it before. Oh, yeah. So there will be can some consistency you, uh, for the scientists. Can you rack back, Jake? Yep. Let's see the little uh, tilt left a little more for me. All right. That's what I need to see, thanks. Fail. Uh, you can look to the right and up a little. Are we zoomed all the way out? I can't quite yep. see the. Oh, I can't get there from here. Uh,
Seems a little cooked, that thing. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, I thought there was more of a handle when we came down. I wonder what happened to it. <laughs> I also think it was a different color to start off with. This is our tried and true reamer, you can <laughs> see. It's lived a hard life. Yeah. Uh, we'll move the box out. Okay. Dragon out. Let me out. Except I got it backwards, but oh well. Leash to come around to the left. Yep. We'll see. <laughs> Third time's charm. Maybe. Okay, P, you can zoom in. That's crazy. I've never seen such a resilient little hole. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we sampled this one before too. There we go. 